Hey guys, Doc. So today, if you haven't, by the way, if you haven't seen the house remodel that we did here, I just put up the full house remodel video. Go over to our channel, hit subscribe, and then look at that video. It's a 32 minute video. And I walk you through this whole house renovation. <laughs> that was a year long process. But I have a little spot here. And I'm going to show you, my wife and I went all around town looking at antique shops, looking for like a little coffee station, um, a hutch, nothing. But we did find kind of an ugly brown one. So I bought it and I'm, I'm going to show you today how you can quickly and easily transform a piece of furniture. Now I know there's a lot of, there's a lot of hubbub. Everyone's talking chalk paints, chalk paints, and you use your brushes. At, no, I don't have time. So today I'm going to show you the whole process. You could do this whole process in about two hours. So this is the new kitchen and then it leads out to the sunroom. But I have a little spot. <laughs> so that little spot, there's a pantry right here that used to be a bathroom and right off the kitchen. And I have a spot on the wall here right there. And that's the perfect spot for like an antique kind of hutch. And we actually want to turn it into like a little coffee center. Like I said, we ran all over town. So today I'm going to just show you real I hadn't planned on shooting this video, by the way. I just, I came over here just to get this done as fast as possible so we could get it up. One of the reasons why I chose this color, by the way. So this is the, this is the living room, the little living room area. And we're going to paint this wall, the only, the only color in the entire house on a wall is going to be this light sage. And that's why I chose the color for the hutch I did. We found this older piece of furniture. Now I've taken the back off this right here. And this piece goes on top of this piece. So it is a little hutch. And I think what I'm going to do is in the, um, in the living room, we're going to do a wall that's a very light sage green. And so what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to spray this light green, that sage light green. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back with a little bit of accents of charcoal around certain places and do some uh, charcoal uh, antique glazing on it. Then we're going to replace the hardware with some really cool hardware we got. Uh, I think from a metal worker out of Alabama actually. And so we'll replace the hardware on there and we'll see what happens. This is one of those things we bought it for 150 bucks at uh, one of these antique stores because it's not an antique. It is old, but it's not that old. So anyways, I wanted to show you the before. This is what it looks like before. And then I'm gonna spray it and we'll move on. So let me show you what I'm gonna use. I am gonna come in here with my orbital sander and I'm gonna put a real heavy grit on this because I do not want it to be a real smooth surface. I want it to be kind of roughed up. This is, uh, the one, two, three water-based primer. Now we use this, believe it or not, to actually paint the barn out there. This stuff is absolutely wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. And you can tint it so you can see I've got it tinted to that light sage. Then I'm gonna come back with a little bit of antiquing glaze randomly on it. And then I've got some wax. There you go, Chip and Joanna. I'm gonna give you a shout out. And we've got some of this antiquing wax that I can actually rub on there and do, but I'm just going to play with it. I'm kind of thinking about, I'm kind of thinking about on the back panel, I may spray that black and then just lightly come over with some green, maybe around the edges. You just do what you feel, man. So let's try it. So one of the things I'm doing uh, to give this more of an age look, it's actually, here's a funny note. We just open up a drawer and the drawer has that old Ethan Allen logo. <laughs> all the drawers are dovetailed. They're all solid wood. So I don't know. Maybe you guys can make a comment down below and uh, let me show you the logo. Let's see if you guys can figure out when it was made. So there's the old Ethan Allen logo right there. 
these are all solid wood dovetails front and back so anyways what I'm doing is, is as I'm coming in here I am NOT applying gentle pressure I'm coming into some of these edges and I'm actually coming in and I'm actually doing a little bit of a round off on a spot or two like here and here and on the front I mean that's 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 the wear that you're gonna see on an old antique piece you're gonna see all these rounded bumps and gouges okay so now what I'm doing is I'm just spraying it with my Wagner I'll be honest I'm really not even too concerned like you can see some of the wood speckles showing through here and that's kind of what I want you want that funky kind of old stuff I may even hit it with a little bit of sandpaper to let some more through I'm gonna go over with my antique glaze we'll see how it looks one of the nice things about this bullseye paint is that it dries in about an hour so I've got the main cabinet painted the upper hutch, the drawers, and some of those drawers are already dry to the touch. And I almost forgot the two shells. I just sprayed the two shells. I did all that with just one little tank full on that. So I'm really, I'm really impressed with that little Wagner. We've actually used it for stain, but I'm real impressed with the furniture on it. Okay, let's see if you can see the difference. I'm on the glazing now. See how this looks all brand new. Then you look over here and you can see how it looks kind of old and dirty. Crap in the cracks over there. So really all I'm doing is I'm taking my glazing compound, a little on the big brush, I'm just going into the cracks. I'm putting it into the cracks. And then anywhere that would normally get dirty, which would be the edges, so the edges I will do. And then I'm just gonna go back by with sort of a damp, nasty glazing cloth. And wipe the whole thing. Give it a give it a little bit of sheen there. Then I'll just come back and just take it off a little bit off the main surface here. I'm doing it just like that okay so now what I'm doing is I'm taking my black wax this is a, a black wax I'm taking it on a cloth and what the black wax does is it'll work into see all these little details like in here well, that would normally be dirty that's where your wax comes in and you can see like all these little chips and everything how it's all turning black and that's the that's the final step on this and I really like how this is coming out all right so I'm trying something a little bit weird here I sprayed the entire back of this thing with flat black rust-oleum spray paint and it was gonna be boring looking so now what I'm doing is I'm actually taking this glaze which has sort of a charcoal color to it and I'm actually painting it heavily right on there and I'm getting some like grain marks it actually looks really so cool I'm just taking it and I'm just putting it on real heavy and then when 
when I'm done with this one section, what I'm doing is, is I'm going back and just make sure it looks sort of like a wood grain. Just straight up and down, just like a wood grain. And it's actually looking pretty cool. Morning. So it's the next morning and uh, everything dried, everything looks good. So I took that back panel. It's funny when I knocked out that back panel, I left the staples in it and they lined up perfectly. <laughs> so I didn't even have to pull the staples out. That was one of the nice things about it. So I just took it off. I put a flat, I sprayed flat Rust-Oleum and then I came over with a heavy coat of that glaze, just a solid coat of that glaze and it's kind of rough and I really like the way it looks. So it's all dried now. So now I'm putting my handles on it. What's cool about these handles is these, there's a, a metal shop, I believe. I, I ordered some from England and they're in the kitchen. These are actually made in, I believe, Alabama. There's a metal smith down there. So these are all handmade. Don't you just love how they're pitted? So I'm going to put these on the drawer that just screw in and then we'll put it all back together. All right, so I'm just using this as my guide. And they get screwed in. Okay, so there we are. <laughs> I just said I just sent a picture of it to the couple of my family groups and you're going to hear phone people liking it, but, um, man, this just came out so nice. I mean, so nice. Look at that. <laughs> I really like the details on here, how that antique glaze actually gets in all the cracks. I really like what happened. I really like what happened on the back here. So it's not shiny and it's actually kind of textured. Um, I just, I'm just really happy with the overall, just, just so happy with how that came. These handles, these handles are just awesome. Totally awesome.